So first of all, I apologize if I... This is not what I'm wearing, obviously, as you saw from the intro. This is not what I'm wearing to Christmas Eve Mass. I wore something much fancier. Sorry if I do not seem 100% myself today, because I'm not. I have a tiny fracture in my knee, so I'm in a insane amount of pain. That's why if I seem a little not myself, it's because I'm not. I feel like crap on Christmas Eve, but that's okay. Make it a good Christmas. It doesn't matter. Every single year, I'm either sick or injured on Christmas. I literally don't think I've ever had a Christmas where I'm not sick or injured. Honestly, gosh, I'm pretty sure I've never had one of those. It's either one or the other, but this year it's a funny me or osteogenesis imperfecta probs. This is why they need to advance treatment. And nothing groundbreaking has happened in like 50 years. But anyways, I'm gonna start with this. This is gonna be a very quick tutorial because I already know what I'm doing. So if you don't like fast tutorials, if you like those talk through tutorials I normally do, I, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna take this next primer base and prime my face. Um, next I'm gonna use the NYX BB Cream. I'm in the shade Nude. In December, we give our gifts, wishing well to our world, peace on earth to everyone. Next, I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer and conceal because I'm breaking out like crazy. I don't know why. Gee, I'm under stress. I have a fracture. I have no idea why I'm breaking out. Also, I don't know where my eye primer is. I'm going to use concealer as my pr eye primer for eyeshadow, so if you did not know, you can use concealer as eyeshadow primer. Time to be joyful when all is calm and all is bright, but why does it change with the seasons and why can't we just hold on to silence? So next I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless translucent powder and mattify my face. Holy night and angels singing the love. Next I'm gonna be using Bahama Mama by the Balm as my bronzer. And heaven and nature singing goodwill to all. I get a little bit bored of just doing like face makeup so I'm gonna switch to my eyebrows now and the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is filling those brows. There are times I can remember with family and friends. I just love this product because it makes my eyebrows look so natural and it's just so easy to fill them in. I I just love it because it doesn't look make it look like I fill in my eyebrows. It just makes them look full like they're supposed to. Not like they're supposed to, like I want them to. The light of Christmas Definitely a more expensive uh, makeup product, especially for an eyebrow product, but it's so worth it. So if there's something like a makeup product, a different kind of makeup product that you've been wanting to treat yourself to rather than an eyeshadow palette, like I feel like we all do, Highly recommend this. So for highlight, I'm going to be using one of my favorites. This is by Ofra Cosmetics, and this is was a Ofra Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorials collaboration. Also, I forgot that I didn't do concealer under my eyes, so I guess I'm going to look exceptionally tired for church. Oh well, I don't feel great. Anyways, I feel not good actually, so. So I'm going to use this. I guess what I was getting at is I don't know if it's available, so if it is, I'll link it down below, but if it's not, I'm sorry. Light of my memories, the magic of love. We make this is hands down my favorite highlighter. I just love how intense the glow is. Like, I got that glow on. Heck yeah. Okay, the next part of the tutorial is probably like my favorite part. I like cannot wait. I just think it's like perfect with my dress and everything. So I'm gonna take the naked. Urban Decay Naked Base, or not Base, it's the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And this is the very first one, and they retired it, and I got it when it was only $27 um, from Sephora. No, I no, I got it at Ulta when it was only $27. I have no idea if they have any left. I doubt it, but I wish they wouldn't have retired this, and I can't believe I waited until they 
retired it to get my hands on it because it's my favorite eyeshadow palette I own now. Like, and sound, it's my favorite. Well, favorite neutral palette. Let's just say favorite neutral palette. So I kind of do two lid colors to start kind of as a base. Probably unconventional, but I don't care. So I'm going to take the shade Virgin and put this all over the lid. Time, but why does it change with the seasons and why can't we Next, I'm going to take the shade Naked and also put that all over my lid. You'll see what I'm doing. Hold on this makes it very subtle and then I'm going to take the shade Buck and put that in my crease and outer V. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can show you because right now it just looks like a regular neutral look but hold on. Here's what I have going on at the moment. I just love how they blend together so effortlessly but here is the next step of what's really going to make this look a little extra special. I got this idea from Pinterest because I don't do special Christmas makeup very much. Normally because I am always in a hurry. I'm always wanting wait for everything and so I just kind of do like a basic look with like a bold lip. But this year, I kind of wanted to make it a little glowy and nice, especially because I love the dress that I'm wearing. I am obsessed with the Hikari uh, Cosmetics Cream Pigments. I received one in a Sweet Sparkle box like a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, a few months ago, and I just was obsessed with them. And so on Pinterest, I saw like a nice kind of neutral eye with like gold on the lid, and I just was like, oh my gosh, yes. Like that's so nice, like without being too dramatic for church, but like it's just really nice, so... I got this cream pigment, and this is in the shade Shine. So I'm going to put this on the lid. And this is what's going to make the look pop. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I cannot. Singing goodwill to all. To all. Anyways, I'm really bummed because I don't think Hikari makes the loose pigments anymore. Because I didn't see them on the site or else... I would have got those and I probably thought maybe this is what they mean by loose, but no. They're different, Michaela. I don't know what you're thinking. So next I'm going to take my Benefit Their Real Mascara. Well, it's the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. I'm going to take Dubai Ophra Cosmetics. I hope that this one isn't too light. Let us adore. 